Hello. Good afternoon. Um, it is around lunchtime. The kids are about to have lunch. And um, I have my braces in, which is why you hear a little bit of a lisp. Um, I'm about to head to Starbucks, have a little deep work session for the next like three, four hours. And then I'll grab some lunch. It is so hot outside. I cannot tell you. It's so hot outside. Oh, I think the inspection person is here. Let me tell Chris. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Like I was saying, um, I'm about to go get some work done and the inspector for the basement just got here. I was gonna take you guys downstairs to give you a little walkthrough of the basement, but since they're about to inspect it, the timing is just off. Hi. Say what's up. Hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. It's so hot. I, I just finished some water because it, it, it's like 78,000 degrees outside. It's 97. 97 is going to be the high today. I'm pretty sure it's already that, um, which is wild. So I will drink my water while I'm out there and I shall return in a few hours, get some uninterrupted work done. I need to go to Ulta and pick up a cleanser. So I might do that as like a working lunch, like pick up some stuff from Ulta. Come along. All right, guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, flowers are getting delivered today. They usually get here like around like, usually like around six or seven. So probably around dinner time. Um, yeah. I need to get my purse and my computer and probably put the camera down. So I'm excited for some work time today. I have recently been reading So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport, who is also the author of Deep Work, which I've been wanting to read for a while as well. But funny enough, since I've been reading So Good They Can't Ignore You, I have actually become a lot more better and focused at Deep Work, which I have heard the concept before and read about it in articles online. And so... I'm interested to see what my takeaway will be and how I work after, you know, learning about what he breaks down in that book. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm almost done. I'm about halfway through, um, but I'm actually reading two books. Uh, I showed you guys actually three books at the same time, which I know seems crazy. And then I, I typically read two or three books at the same time and then listen to a book as well on Audible. So if you guys want me to, if you guys want me to share a book list or to be read list, I have I have a mix of both of those. I'm happy to do like a dedicated video about books I'm reading, have read uh, this year, and will be reading as well. On my way to therapy. So if it stays like this, I think we can actually talk. But basically, if I turn, it's a wrap. This works better in my car. So Chris and I went to lunch. We had a little working lunch. And we did some content planning and tackled a little bit of the schedule for tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, for next week. And now I'm going to therapy. This morning we had a team meeting and our fantastic and amazing housekeeper came over and got us set up for success for this weekend and the following week. She comes every Friday morning and we just 
love her so much. It was so good to see her. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I ordered takeout for lunch for the kids. Just to make it easier on my mom since Chris and I went to lunch. And maybe we'll... I don't know. We'll see. I, I feel like I can figure that out once I get done with therapy. Tomorrow I'm going to hang out with my girlfriends from church. We've been wanting to get together for a while and like this is the first time since like the pandemic that we all had like a free Saturday. So we're going to just hang out for a couple hours tomorrow. I'm bringing a cheese board and I'm actually going to make a pound cake tonight. So maybe I'll bake a pound cake with the girls. I really have not done anything to my face. I feel like I look pretty regular. <laughs> and doing the best I can. No. Okay, okay, all right. Just relax. <laughs> I am wearing a Amazon The Drop High Low Luxe dress in white. And I'm very pleased with how perfect I got the bow. We're going to be the bear. Yeah, Aunt Macy's looking for a suit for my daddy. And And then we're going to build a bear. Drink take the girls. Well the kids. All three of the kids are with us. So we're going to build a bear. That's right. Hey Chief. You got to take him though. Hey Katie. The, they'll fight me, but I'll tell them. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. It is a crazy place. We are now going to be eating some food. We're watching Teen Titans Go. We are about to go on the trip later this week. What you guys don't see. Oh! Later this week we're going on trip. Hey, get off the stairs. Good morning. It's Saturday. We are about to have some breakfast. Uh, Chris just got back in from picking up some takeout. Uh, we typically do pancakes from scratch every morning. Chris spoils us every week and he makes us pancakes from scratch. He didn't feel like doing that today. And so guess what? We not gonna do it. <laughs> That's all we have going on. <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot. The kids are doing a lot. A cheesesteak bowl from Waffle House. Add some pico and some sauteed spinach. Like a real adult. Okay, I just got done cleaning up the kitchen and all of that, and I realized I don't think I showed you guys this week's flowers. They're so pretty. Um, I usually order flowers for the dining room. The kitchen area and then also the master bath so let me show you guys the dining room flowers they came out beautiful and they match the tablescape beautifully then they turn out beautiful uh they delivered these thursday um i like to get flowers every other thursday because the house gets cleaned on friday so it's always just like a nice like refresh for the house these are absolutely gorgeous. I get them from a local flower shop here. We've been going to them, gosh, since Chris and I got married. Chris always used to just surprise me with flowers like every other week from them. And he would give me like, you know, a small little arrangement and they were always so cute and thoughtful. And now we get arrangements from them twice a month. And I love how they go with the tablescape. I don't think I've ever talked about the dining room. Um, I think I'll do like a little blog post on it, but it's a mix of everything. I have stuff here from Target, Amazon, Pottery Barn, all the things. But I love a like globe kind of base. And I'm gonna change out the water today because it's like starting to get slightly murky and you don't want your water to get murky or else your flowers start to die faster, but I love how it turned out. 
So we are down here in the basement. I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough and update. I know I've been kind of updating sporadically on Instagram, but I wanted to officially walk you guys through the unfinished basement because we just got cleared through inspections. We passed inspections and so drywall and insulation starts next week. So let me show you what it's going to become. So when you come downstairs, there's this little open area and it's kind of gonna be what we call like the kids lobby. So we'll have like little seating area for them to kind of like chill out and color or whatnot if they want to do that. Haven't really decided what to do because I don't want to block the area with stuff or whatnot, but I think this will be somewhere where they can chill out, at least like sit on the floor and kind of have some space to do things when we're down here. But what I really love is that when you walk in here and you turn, there's this little nook where it's kind of specifically designed for them. So up here, we're gonna put a pendant light. So that's why you see that little like electric fixture there. And this is gonna be like a little nook for them. They can chill out. It goes all the way through and around the corner, you guys can see. So it's literally designed for them to kind of have secret hideout, screen time, coloring time, build a secret fort, whatever you guys wanna do. This little nook is for them and we love it so much. So. We really wanted to make sure that the kids had like a designated space where they could be themselves down here. Even though it's like a smaller space, I kind of feel like it's just so perfect for them. They love those kind of like nooks and special areas for them. So back to when you come downstairs, when you come in, there's this door, there's gonna be a door here. And then this area obviously will be walled off, you know. Um, this is just gonna be the little room for all of the HVAC and all of that stuff so you won't see anything there. Then when you turn here, this is Christopher's office and I'm really excited. He's gonna have a window, like a glass window in his door so he gets daylight in his office as well. And then this will be his office, which is great. That's gonna be his closet. Well, this will actually be his closet. I think we're gonna do built-ins right here. I think he said that's what he wanted. And he did like a vaulted kind of ceiling with like molding or whatnot. So I'm really excited to see how that comes about. He's gonna mount a TV up there and then potentially put his desk right here. But I love it, he has so much space. This is him like doodling of like what he wanted the ceiling to look like. And Chris designed the entire space down here. So he's so brilliant and he's so good at that stuff. So I'm really excited to just see like the ideas that we've had and he's like drawn and sketched out come to life. So that is Chris's office. This is what I'm very excited about. When you walk in here, this is going to be the entertainment and kitchen area. So here is where we're gonna have a kitchen. We're gonna have a peninsula, not an island. So the peninsula will essentially go right here. And then we're gonna have like a little range right here. So probably like a little four kind of spot or four piece, I'm not even sure what you would call it, kind of range. Um, with a little oven and then the sink will go here and then we're gonna do like a little wine cooler And then this will kind of act as like the kitchen when we do like outdoor kind of Events or whatnot with like our family and stuff which we tend to do a lot during the summer and the fall Even the spring too when the pollen's not killing you <laughs> Then this will kind of be like a nice little living slash Kind of entertaining quarters the TV will go right there and then we're gonna do kind of like a couple of chairs, a table. It'll be really nice just to have something, you know, watch movies, the game, whatever you wanna do down here. So I can see just like my nieces and nephews, my brothers and sisters, just like being down here and having a good time. And this, my friends, is essentially what Chris is calling my quarters. So. As you can see here, this is open because we had two ground outlets put in because we wanna make sure that we um, have enough outlets for all of the lights and stuff we have for filming. We have so many plans for content creation and stuff like that and it was so important to us to have a designated like video space so we didn't have to worry about going and running out like spaces to shoot photography or film in and I'm so excited. So I'll start over here, we're gonna have cabinetry and shelving here. Basically, well, it'll be more so like cabinets because this will really hold a lot of like 
my wardrobe and beauty products that I get either from PR mailings or stuff that I'm gonna actually be filming and shooting. And that'll be really helpful just because I definitely am, I've hit a peak in my own personal closet. So this is like a little closet area, right? For products and clothing and I'm really excited. And this will also act as one filming wall, like up here, we're gonna have backdrops with the paper and also lighting. And so we'll be able to like pull things down and like alternate paper rolls and film here, especially just because this area gets so much light. But this whole wall is essentially for filming. So fun, I am so excited. Shelving, filming, love it. And it'll also look nice when the paper's up because the shelving will be like really nice and make sure it looks beautiful as like if I just wanna do a sit down and talking video as well. Then this whole open space is my office. It was really important for us to kind of have like an open space concept as far as an office is concerned, because not only will I like work here and write for the blog and, you know, write out stuff and scripts for the YouTube channel, but um, it'll also be like where my team can pop in. So we'll probably have my desk in this area and then we're gonna do custom shelves in here as well. And then this will just house even more product, books, because I have tons of books. So I kind of want it to be like my beauty and my book library that will be here. It'll just be amazing. And it'll also serve as another backdrop for filming. My desk will probably be around here. And then we're gonna do a small work table for my team that'll be on wheels so they can like pop in, do some work, but on the days I'm filming or in those moments I'm filming, we can roll the table out over here or whatnot, or over here, and I can still film while the team is still getting work. So I love that this is going to be MJHQ, you know, um, for the Maddie James Company. It's so cool, like, that this is actually happening. This is something we've, like, dreamed of doing. And it's just wild that we're in a position to do that. Like, this is something we're so... Uh, so, so grateful and it's something we don't take for granted at all. So super stoked, love the windows. We are going to get like some shades to make sure we can kind of like diffuse light on super, super bright days or whatnot. Um, and of course there's the back door and all of our outdoor furniture. Next year, our big project will be getting the backyard together, but it was so important to us to get the basement done. All right, so you guys see office, you guys see filming area. As you walk into here, I don't think there will be a door here. I think this will just be open. In here, this will be a door, and this is our bathroom. The vanity is gonna go here, and then that is where the shower pan is gonna go, my friends. And then Chris was like, hey, why don't we do some shelving in here? And so we're gonna have um, shelving in here and like some cabinets right here for like overflow for towels and you know bathroom products and all of that. So that, it's essentially the bathroom. And then this will be our workout room. So our exercise bike, you guys know we have the mixed fitness bike. We have free weights. Chris has the, um, is it the total gym? So we'll have all of that in here. And then this is a closet where we'll keep the surplus of any kind of overflow stuff. I imagine it'll be a lot of like extra lighting and different things like that that can go in here, but it's actually a pretty big closet. Like, we were pretty generous because we know that we'll have a lot of overflow without it like getting junky. Like we want to keep it pretty organized. And then this, yeah, will be the exercise room. It was important to us to have the window in the exercise room. So there was daylight, we were motivated on the days we were working out, we could see light. Um, and so, yeah, it's so nice again, to just be able to have like an exercise room or gym, whatever you want to call it a full bath down here, all of this space for like filming and working. Have a kitchen for entertaining and TV. Chris has his own office. The kids have their own little nook, like beyond, beyond stoked. So that is the basement, my friends. This is the before. I cannot believe that this will be HQ for TMJC the Maddie James company, we're super stoked. We are beyond, like, the ground outlets make me so happy. Um, we're even gonna have a couple of outlets up top. 
um, just to make our lives easier when it comes to lights. Um, because trust me, we have tried to do like more produced looking videos, but in the house it just doesn't work out just because either like, first of all, the kids, but <laughs> there's either it's the wires isn't there isn't long enough for outlets you know and it has to be so temporary because the rest of the house is our living space and you know we love our home and I love being able to shoot in it and think most of the house is very Instagram uh, friendly but as far as like setting up for video production it was really important to us to make sure that we set up a studio down here and I am excited so we we have quite a bit left to do but when it's finished, it is going to be worth the wait. It is going to be worth all of the painstakingly detailed decisions I am beyond. So I'm super excited. I wanted to show you guys. Let's go. Let's go unbox some, some Sephora. Okay, so real quick. I'm going to open up. I just ordered some stuff from Sephora. Just kind of like a re-up on a lot of uh, the things I usually use. So I actually, you guys know how much I love the SK2 Patera Essence. I've been using it for the last couple of years very, very consistently and they have masks. And so I really wanted to kind of just sit the essence on my face for longer than a few seconds. So I got the mask and there's 10 masks in here. Really excited to use this. I'm definitely gonna do this tonight. I forgot that I got the, okay. Oh, I'm also a huge fan of Sunday Riley. I got their A plus high dose retinoid serum. I love retinol and I feel like this last year I've been really faithful and committed to it. So I have been using Sunday Riley Good Jeans for a while. I talked about it in my last vlog um, about like all like the beauty stuff they have and uh, Sunday Riley had a Good Jeans regular size and travel size that's really great. So I actually grabbed their A plus high dose retinoid serum love retinol. I've heard really good things about this and I have actually been very pleased with any product I've gotten from Sunday Riley. So I'm really excited to try this out and give it a go. It has retinoids, CoQ10, I think that's what it is, and honey. So they always use beautiful products. Their formulas are always great and very compatible with my skin. I forgot that I also grabbed a good jean. This is always just a good backup to have because I use it all the time and it lasts for 12 months. So I usually get through one container and two. So it's good to have that. Oh my gosh. So I'm super excited because I forgot that I got this KVD Beauty Good Apple. I think I had talked about it when I was like in another vlog when I was clearing out my vanity, but they actually, like this is sold out everywhere. Like when I went to Ulta the other day and it was gone and on Sephora's site, it's gone. So basically when I visited the Sephora app like a couple of, maybe like three or four days ago, they actually had the shade that's like one shade darker than me, which is what I am now because of the summer, I've gotten just a little bit darker. And so I'm gonna try this out. This has been that foundation that everybody is talking about on TikTok. So I'm excited to give it a try. I'm also really excited to try the Glowish um, bronzing powder from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna open it up. I'm showing you guys the boxes, but I should be showing you guys the products. <laughs> and that's so pretty, so great. I'm excited to try that. I've really been into like bronzers lately, which is interesting. I've never been into bronzers. Really have committed to it this year. Oh, I grabbed another one of the, no the night moisturizers that I use. Um, I use the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream, and it's the Super Lotus Night Recovery Cream. It is absolutely glorious. I believe I discovered this end of 2019, top of 2020. It's the best night cream I've used. It, it just feels so good. It smells amazing and I love it so much. Ooh, I'm actually gonna use this literally after I'm done filming this. Um, this is the Way St. Bart's Scalp and Body Scrub. Glorious. Way's products always smell amazing. Oh my gosh. And this smells like a dream, like a summer dream. Of course, I pretty much don't make an order without <laughs> buying one of the Clinique Take Your Day Off makeup removers. 
And then last but not least, I got a little 24K gold mask from Peter Thomas Roth. The best mask ever. And it's just as glorious as it looks. And I had it used in in a while and I, I found an old one, but it was definitely expired. So it's like, you know what? Treat myself to a gold mask. And that is it for my little Sephora order. Let me actually show you guys what I got from Ulta as well because I told you guys I was going to show you and I know it did because we ended up running around. So I ended up getting the Revlon um, Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler because I've heard nothing but great things about it when blowing out um, natural hair and I have 4C texture and so I just needed something to make my hair just blow out easier. So I grabbed a couple of makeup brushes from Real Techniques because I love their brushes and I also grabbed the Real Techniques brush cleansing palettes. I'm excited to have something to clean my brushes with. I also just grabbed a bunch of Morphe brushes. I just needed a little bit more in the brush department when it comes to my makeup. So just grabbed a few to try. So I'll keep you guys posted on what I like, what I don't. Grabbed a couple of Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz because it is the only eyebrow pencil I typically use. Sometimes I'll use the Revlon one, like when I wanna use something drugstore if I run out of that. But I usually just like to pick up what I use so I don't have to keep on making a bunch of trips, you know? Um, they had the Juvia's Place Nude Peaches Matte Lipstick, so I grabbed two of them in me and Libra, and they're black owned, so it's always great when you can support black owned businesses and then you also stay in them. It's a win-win. Oh, I had been hearing really great things about the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, so I tried, I picked up one. This is the Universal Sheer, because there's a few different ones, and this is with the Hydrating Squalene. So I'm going to give that a try. The reason I went into Ulta is to give the Tula Skin Care Cleanser. Um, I talked about this during the end sale as well. I did not pick up the Duo, but now that I'm thinking about it, I actually have a PR package from them that I haven't opened yet, and it's probably in there because they're always so great with sending me stuff, but picked one up. It's always just good to have one or two just with me as a backup. Um, I'm probably about a week away from emptying out the one I'm using now. Love this cleanser so, so much. It is so, so great. Um, as far as hair stuff is concerned, I picked up some stuff that I had just been reading on that's really great for 4C hair, blowing it out. So I got the um, OGX Protecting and Silk Blowout Quick Drying Thermal Spray. And so I'm excited to see how this works as far as blowing my hair out so I don't have to like go and get it blown out every time I wanna do my hair. And then lastly, I got the Riogio Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protection Cream, Protectant Cream. It's hard to say that with my Invisalign in. Um, I'm excited because I have not been great at using a heat protectant on my hair, even though I don't put a bunch of heat on my hair. Every time I do put heat on it, I never really had a product to protect it. So I've heard nothing but beautiful things about Riogio as a brand in general, but specifically the Farewell Frizz. About? It's my dad. They're, they're upstairs. I'm just filming something for my YouTube and then they're changing Christian's diaper. Oh, okay. Yeah, Christian's coming down. I thought I missed my appointment. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, I actually got the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Lifting Neck Cream. I've heard good things about this. I always am adamant on telling you guys not to forget your neck. And I was like, you know what, let's buy a product specifically for your neck. I wanted to try this out as well. And so that is everything I got from both Sephora and Ulta. <laughs> Little just kind of re-up. And um, since grandpa's here, It'll be a little bit of a party, but I have to go get ready for this afternoon. I'm going to my girlfriend's house like I told you guys yesterday. And so I'm gonna end the vlog here, my friends. I hope you guys had a super remarkable day, afternoon, or night. <laughs> and again, please, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, join the party and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy seeing vlogs. And Little peek at family, work life, and me just buying products that I like. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.